The Hallyu or the Korean wave continues to make big on the global stage, but calls are growing for a diversification of Hallyu. In a part three series of ongoing efforts to diversify Hallyu, our Kan Hyung Woo today takes a look at how South Korea's men's cosmetics industry is getting ready to go global. Men's grooming products made in South Korea are poised to take the world by storm. I don't see why not. If women get to use all the beauty products, why can't men? We like to be handsome. We like to show ourselves off. According to researchandmarkets.com, the global male grooming products market is expected to reach 78.6 billion U.S. dollars by 2023, growth of about 5 percent every year, while the domestic market is already surging. The men's grooming section has seen its sales go up by 40 percent a year for the past three years in a row, showing how fast the market is growing. As for the advantages of men's K-beauty products, users point to their cost-effectiveness. I think it's a lot more affordable than what's available um, out there. Like you can find things for as low as seven dollars sometimes, um, and on top of that, the ingredients are always quite great and unique. To reach beyond Asia, experts say it's important to develop strategies targeting specific regions. If the companies want to get into European or American markets, they should focus on adjusting their products for those skin types. They also need to come up with certain qualities to fit their needs in those regions. K-beauty products are already hugely popular among female consumers around the world. According to the Ministry of SMEs and Startups, South Korea's exports and cosmetic products grew by 25 percent in 2018 compared to the previous year, reaching a total value of 4.6 billion U.S. dollars, making it seem likely that men's K-beauty is set for similar success. Kan Young-woo, Arirang News.